Aaron Judge had a CT scan to see if the uh, rib, upper rib on the right side has healed. So he spoke to reporters that are still down in Tampa, and uh, he said that there's slight improvement. The bone is still about the same, slight improvement. In two weeks, they can't really tell much of anything. The bone is healing the way it should be. Now, that's a little bit jarring because he hasn't really been doing much. He hasn't been lifting as far as we know, and swinging the bat with any ferocity, and they're not going to know anything for a while. Now, I think everybody assumes we're not going to get baseball back until maybe late May or June, but I, I would assume that if they remove that rib, it still wouldn't have him ready for June. So now that there's not baseball, maybe they're looking at it this way. Let it try to heal. Let it continue to try to heal. And if it doesn't heal by the time baseball resumes, then we know it's an issue, and then we could remove the rib, and then he'll miss the rest of the season. Again, nobody's told me that. That's just what mm -hmm. I assume they're feeling. Now, he also, in talking with the media, to reporters uh, that he had suffered a pneumothorax, which is a partial collapse of the lung, which can occur, according to Marley Rivera, with rib fractures. He said, that's now completely gone. And Judge said, quote, I can fly if I need to go home. Now, none of us knew anything about this pneumothorax. And, you know, I'm reading Twitter and the reactions to the stories that people are putting on there. Why are the Yankees lying to us about this stuff? Why didn't they ever tell us he had a pneumothorax? Which, in layman's terms, is a collapsed lung. Let me tell you all something. With HIPAA laws, they don't have to tell you anything. They tell you exactly what the player tells them that he wants said. So even if they knew it was a pneumothorax, they cannot legally tell you. Unless Aaron Judd said, yeah, that's cool, you could tell them. But when was the lung collapse? Was the lung collapsed on that diving play in September that he tried to make? He's had a collapsed lung that long? Or did the lung collapse at the beginning of spring training? That's the question nobody really seems to have the answer to. But it does tell you that he can fly because the collapsed lung uh, is, in fact, healed. And again, cracked ribs sometimes do collapse a lung. But did that happen in September? And he's been living with that since? So a lot of things that we don't have answers to right now, but we know that the bone is not healed. He's saying that it's healing as it should be, but two weeks it's not healed. But the collapsed lung is, in fact, healed, and we'll see exactly where we go from there. So uh, the delay of the season gives them some, some maneuverability and some time. So there's no need to rush anything. And even if they, they felt this is the time to remove the, the rib, does anybody really want to go to a hospital now in case, unless they really have to? Right. No. And I guess that's uh, elective surgery, and all the people in charge are telling us don't do any elective surgery. Only go to the hospital if you really need it, and beds in hospitals are scarce right now. And really, do you want to be in a hospital where there are people that are recovering from COVID-19? So, again, a lot of unanswered questions. We just gave you exactly what Aaron Judd said, but... Not quite sure where this is going. I wouldn't I wouldn't think it's an overly great thing that it's still not completely healed. This is an injury that was suffered in September. So I have no idea how they move forward other than wait another two weeks and he gets another CT scan.